Fugar and Velsar families, two powerful German financiers who traded with the East, began to realize that the discovery of America and Vasco da Gama's African sailing expedition had both lessened the importance of old trade routes and ruined their own monopoly. Therefore, Fugar and Velsar did everything in their power to try to join Spain and Portugal in their trade with the New World. The Portuguese refused Fugar's florins, but Velsar had his way in Spain. In return for a huge loan, the Spanish King Charles granted the Velsars a vast colony in South America. The Velsars' privately owned colony included the whole of present-day Venezuela. In the year following this decree, the first German expedition under Ambrose Ehinger anchored in Coro, a city built by the Spanish approximately 150 kilometers east of Lake Maracaibo. This was the only European settlement on the 2,100-kilometer-long coast of Venezuela. However, there were no natives left on the coastal territory. They had been taken by Spanish slave traders. As there was no labor force along the coast, Ehinger had to move deeper into the continent. The first natives he met told him about a land of gold and its fabulous ruler. In 1531, Ehinger... 200 Germans and Spaniards and several thousand slaves left Coro in search of a new Tenochtitlan. When the expedition entered the territory of present-day Colombia, the locals brought gold to Ehinger and gave it to him for free or in exchange for various trinkets. However, new troubles came along with the gold. The crossing of the Andes proved to be a nightmare for Ehinger. Many slaves and some Europeans died. Nevertheless, the expedition managed to cross the mountains and finally reached the very heart of Colombia, the Magdalena River. Here the indigenous population put up resistance. Ehinger lost several people in the skirmishes, and when he was some 30 kilometers from the frontiers of El Dorado, he halted the advance and dispatched his booty over a quarter of a ton to Coro.